Hello, you are with Dr. Shushma Singh. Today we are going to start our lecture on micro planning on the topic the background of micro planning in India. Since the very beginning of Indian planning emphasis has been given on promoting a better standard of living of people by efficient exploitation of resources of the country, increasing production and offering opportunities to all for employment in the services of the community within an ideology deeply rooted in the concept of democracy and socialism. For achieving these objectives, special significance has been laid on the welfare of rural areas and weaker backward sections. But in reality, a large share of benefits has been appropriated by some privileged forward classes as well as a few economically developed advanced regions of the country. That has resulted in mass ruler poverty, unemployment and underemployment and social tension particularly among the weaker section of the ruler population and ultimately brought into being regional disparity and sectoral imbalances. The first two five-year plans of India made no efforts in the direction of micro-level or regional planning and development. During the third plan, the regional focus on planning became more explicit and for the first time it gave a serious thought over the problems of regional development. But due to lack of proper national policy with regard to spital dimension of planning, the micro-level regional approach to development could not be initiated in the actual planning strategy. The fourth five-year plan, however, noted that certain regions in the country are advancing at the cost of others and that certain sections of the population who already have some resources are prospering while an overwhelming proportion of the population has generally remained outside the mainstream of economic progress. In order to correct some of these regional imbalances, it has emphasized the need for micro-planning at the district level on the assumption that plans made at the national and state levels can be brought down to the people of more lower levels in a much more efficient manner. So the fourth plan put considerable importance to planning at the district level and to experimental studies on growth centers for evolving an appropriate micro planning strategy at the grassroots level. The fourth plan in, in fact marked a watershed in Indian planning by emphasizing the need to strengthen regional development through some kind of micro planning. For the first time in Indian planning, it is stressed upon the necessity to strengthen micro planning at district and lower levels. The fourth plan initiated micro regional, regional planning from the grassroots under the name of area development, taking due notes of regional resource potentialities and limitations. It was strongly felt by the planners and policy makers that planning exercise at the micro, macro, national or state level cannot take into account the local variations in resources and needs. Hence, an area development framework drawn up at the district and block level was considered to be more realistic than one formulated at the state level. Therefore, for micro-level regional planning, initially district was selected as a planning unit with the aim to accelerate development of backward areas and to reduce the regional disparities in socio-economic advancement. The concept of integrated area development has emerged for sustained development of the targeted area. Various models like growth centers, growth poles, 
service centers, central place, etc. had been advanced during the fourth and fifth plan to serve the hinterland of backward and tribal area taking into consideration the economic base and population potential of that area. Integrated area development thus refer to the appropriate local location of social and economic activities over a physical space for the balanced development of a particular region. The concept of integrated area development therefore offered a new framework for decentralizing economic and social activities by locating specific functions in appropriate places. Here one, we want to close this lecture. Thanks for listening.